Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Another 80 some degree day. So, had some warm temps, grass has really taken off. We were out here at the rental farm, and actually, three or four weeks ago, I ended up catching the bulls and hauling them home because, as you guys know, we started calving out here, and I don't want these cows that have calved roughly a month ago, I don't want them to start cycling and the bulls already um, catch a few of them early. So, so anyway, I pulled the bulls about a month ago, and I'll show you that clip now. All right, two bulls are caught. Got them a little bit of feed to keep them calm while I go get the trailer. And uh, see if we can get them loaded before dark here. That wasn't too bad. don't want to fight whatsoever <laughs> they're already running away so I not only caught the bulls but me and my dad also caught the open cow that was on one of our spring calving farms um, we knew she was open she had been in heat a couple times and as you guys know we don't really give cows a second chance around here um, so we caught her brought her home she stayed with the bulls for a couple days um, they chased her around she lost some weight uh, but we ended up hauling her to the sale barn 
And like I said, she was a big cow, even when she got chased around for a couple days, um, she probably lost 100 pounds um, just, just from that, three or four days of that. Um, but she still weighed 1,400 something, and she brought over $2,000 for an open eight-year-old cow. So not gonna complain about that at all. Definitely more than paid for herself over the last eight years. And that's pretty much all the moving around that has been done besides rotating the cows onto fresh pasture every couple days, which I showed you guys in the last video. What we're up to today, um, we are out here on the Riddle Farm and you guys saw me haul the Beef Masters home. And pretty much what I'm gonna show you today is all the new calves out here. And then what I really wanna focus on is the calves out of these Beef Master bulls. Cause it's kind of not what I was expecting or hoping for. But we might as well get out here and show you. Had one born last night, and I'm not even sure what it is yet. But I'm gonna try to sneak over here. This is one of the cows I bought last year. Looks like it is a little bull. Yep. And that, I don't know if you can tell, that calf weighs about 80 pounds which is roughly where I'd want to see a 12 or 1300 pound cow calving at. And that is actually the smallest calf I've had so far out of these beef masters. Um, according to the EPDs, the black beef master bull, um, he's supposed to be low birth weight. Top, I think 10% the breed for birth weight. And I'll just say the other calves out of him, uh, the smallest one I've seen was about 9,500 pounds. So, uh, these cows have been calving out some absolute monsters, which is not what I was hoping for. Um, not all these cows are big. We've got a couple really small ones that are half Dexter that I bought last year. Um, so they're just absolutely tiny. And they're pushing out these monster, monster calves. It's one thing if I had 1,500 pound cows, uh, but I have not been buying many of them. So um, anyway, besides that, uh, the cows I bought this spring, I'm going to show you some of their calves. You can kind of see what calves I've had so far, which I've been pretty pleased with so far. So here's a couple. That's the oldest Charlet that you guys saw, first one born out here this spring, actually in January or February. This is that, I think she's a Beefmaster cow. Um, she was super skinny, wobbly when I bought her. I wormed her, and she had a nice little... Nice little beef master looking calf. See that tan Charlet cross heifer. Um, she's one of the older ones as well. But yeah, the people worried about her having yonis. That was not the case. She was just wormy. So um, that calf's about a week and a half, two weeks old. And uh, she doesn't have a whole lot of milk, but she's got enough milk to raise it. So this beef master cow I bought last year, she calved. I'm assuming her calf is over here somewhere. There's one of these little Dexter crosses I was talking about. Um, so this this black bull, he's out of that cow, which I had just bought this spring. He came out absolutely tiny, um, but he's grown, grown really well. Um, this Pharaoh Cattle Company cross cow, she had a nice little heifer out of a beef master. And... Uh, she may be one I consider keeping. I really like this red cow here. Um, that beef master cow I just showed you a minute ago, that's her heifer calf. That black cow there had that black beef master bull, and he probably weighed 115, 120 pounds when he was born. Just an absolute tank. Uh, his front ankles were curling forward. Um, but luckily he got over that. So that little bull calf is out of the Dexter cow. And then my favorite cow of the bunch, this PCC cow, she had this giant, giant Charlet 
cross calf. A little smoky calf there, black nose, and he is just an absolute tank. He probably weighed 115 too um, when he was born. And she's a short little squatty cow. So anyway, these calves are coming out huge, um, but no calving trouble so far. So, you know, I'm still debating whether or not I keep this beef master and try him one more time, but that is still up in the air. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Um, I've got till June to decide what I'm gonna breed these girls to. Not so sure I wanna take another chance. I'm sure they're gonna grow super well, turn out to wean out super heavy, but here's another one I bought, super skinny. She put on some weight, she's about to have a calf. Got that Charlet cross there, bull calf you've probably seen. And then we've got this Charlet cow. Uh, the group of cows I bought her with, they've all had a black baldy calf, or a baldy calf, I should say. So they were all bred to Hereford. That's her calf there. This red cow, that was real mean when I bought her. She's calmed down quite a bit. It looks like, it really looks like she's had a calf. Um, and she's kind of acting like she's a little irritated with me. Yeah, she's looking. These three are not hers. Those are out of the same group of cows that have all had Herefords. Um, not bad looking calves. I'm gonna see where she ends up she has definitely had a calf. Actually, there's a calf across the creek here. That must be hers. Let's see what calf this is here. Yep, this is definitely a new one. Almost has to be hers. It's actually a actually really nice little heifer calf, so I like the look of her. Anyway, so that's two new ones for the day. And I'm still looking for one more cow. She looked close last night. Um, so I'm guessing she's got a calf somewhere around here. Here's the cow I was looking for. She doesn't act like she's had a calf. But, uh, yeah, she's awful close. If she doesn't go today or tomorrow, I'll be really surprised. But what I'm going to try to do is walk in here and find this Longhorn Beefmaster cross calf. There's the cow, redhead, a little white on her forehead and the rest of her is just speckles. Um, and there's her baby. Get me here. Get up. Get up, little dude. There he goes. I don't know if you can tell how big he is, but he's three days old. Um, and all he's got is a little white on the tail, white on the navel. And a little white patch on his forehead. But uh, once again, another monster calf out of these beef masters. Uh, she had him just fine, but I'm just surprised she did. These beef masters, I'm not gonna say are a deal breaker. Um, definitely not what I was expecting buying a low birth weight beef master and still getting these over 100 pound calves. Uh, the one thing I will say is, I know they're gonna grow well. It will most likely be the heaviest calves I've ever weaned out. And uh, if I kept heifers back, they'd make really good mothers. But um, I don't know, this birth weight thing is not what I was expecting. Most of the cows at home, the calves are coming out, I don't know, 75 to 85 pounds out of our mature cows. And the 85 pounders are big. So these 100 some pound calves are just not something I'm really used to seeing. So, if you guys remember way back, I was planning on putting that black bead master bull on a group of 40 first time heifers. And uh, I'm really glad I waited to see the calves out of him before I put, put him on heifers. Because I'm afraid he would have killed nearly all 40. Because like I said, our, our cows at home were not this big. They're gonna max out at 1100, 1200 pounds. And uh, heifers, you know, they'll be calving at 900 pounds. So, uh, 
I'm afraid that that bull would have killed quite a few of them. But just so you guys have a rough idea, I'd say I've got about 24 calves out here and still got another 10, 15 to go. We're more than halfway done and so far so good. No issues besides the twins, which were the very first ones born. Um, that's one, one of the ones I'm raising on the bottle now. Anyway, with that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will see y'all next time.